So right now we're at the property we walked through a few weeks ago with our contractor. I'm meeting Dina here. This is gonna be her first project to fully coordinate. She's going to be meeting the contractor here in about 15 minutes, and we're gonna rewalk through everything that we did the other day, explaining to him and to her what we want done so that she can go back to the office and make sure that it gets done correctly. So we'll show you guys once it's done. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna change out this kitchen. I told Roy I want to get rid of this. Okay. We're gonna have to redo this countertop. So he's gonna pull the countertop out and do the sink because you can see how rotted it is behind yeah, it. Yeah. I don't want to replace all the doors in here. He thinks we may have to because of some of the cooking grease that's come oh, up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can't paint that. Yeah. So if we have to, we can buy cabinet doors for these. I, I don't mind buying cabinet doors for these, honestly. So. What are other options if like someone didn't want to buy doors? Could they possibly sand it down? And yeah, they it? could sand it down. You or... could have to get like a degreaser and clean them really good. Okay. But I, I typically on a house of this age, it's hard to sand them down because they've been covered in latex paint, like a wall paint, not oh, an acrylic. Okay, okay. No, I mean, not not a uh, a late, not a uh, lacquer. Style okay. Paint. And so in kitchens, you should use a lacquer. Or? You should like a new construction. You always use a lacquer on the cabinets instead of a latex. Latex is usually done on remodels and it kind of covers everything and mm -hmm. it's a water base so it doesn't permit any fumes. So that's why you use it on remodels. Oh, okay. So we need to, we need to take this shelf out. We want to do new cabinet doors, new sh new countertop in here, new sink, new uh, faucet, and then all new flooring in the whole house. We're going to just do glue down material like this mm -hmm. and Roy's going to patch some of the holes that we have. Get rid of the fridge. That thing's disgusting. Don't open it. Shoot, that's nasty. Gosh, dang, son, that thing freaking stinks. Wish you could smell that on the camera. The backyard looks like it's in good condition. Yeah, backyard's in good shape. Just needs mode. Yeah, the fence looks like it's intact. Yeah, the, all the fence is actually on other people's property. Yes, the broken one, right? Yeah, ours yeah, is broken one. one. All of ours is uh, the chain link. Yep. I mean, they could get the shopping cart for free. We'll add that in. We'll add that shopping cart. Yeah. Yeah. And the cans. I bet you can get a couple bucks out of that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the, what about exterior? The, like? the condenser and the heat and air in this house worked. So when I walked yeah. through it originally, um, before I bought the property, mm -hmm. I, I saw it and it was in working shape. So there were tenants in it originally and it worked. And they said it worked great. So the heat worked and they said the AC worked. Great. So that was huge and one of the reasons I bought it. The windows back here look pretty good. Now, no windows busted except for the one I busted out. And that one was busted out, was cracked already. So I hate to burst the cool clickbait. This I'm going to convert to a third bedroom. Okay. There's only two bedrooms in this house, so we want to turn this house into a three-one, which is a three-bedroom, one bath. We're so gonna how take. Do you do that? We're gonna take the, you take the garage out, take the rails out. You'll take all the stuff off the wall, the industrial-style garage stuff, the shelves, all of that goes. We'll end up building like a little wall around the HVAC, and then we'll take one of the supplies off of that trunk line, and we'll put it in this room so it's heated and cooled. Okay. We'll strip these walls and we'll insulate them and then sheetrock over them. And then we'll sheetrock this with one window. As an investor, what, what are the benefits of adding another room to a house? You can, the rents are more per room. So there's more, more, more rent per bedrooms of the house and more rent per bathrooms of the house. So ideally people usually like a two bedroom, three bath. But a lot of times with homes this age, you don't get a two bath. You usually get like a one full bath that the family shared. Cause like this house I think was built in their fifties okay. and the 1950s, it wasn't very common for them to have more than one full bathroom. Okay. And so no matter the neighborhood. What made you want to buy this house? Like what was it about it? First thing you always look for is the price. So it's always depend on what the deal is. I mean, if it's, if you can get something that's worth twenty thousand dollars and you can buy it for five thousand dollars, then there's always margin and you can make money on it. And so on this property specifically, we buy property that's distressed. It needs a lot of work, as you can see. It's bad shape, broken glass, carpet's gross. You know, it's not been taken care of, and we're going to turn this thing around and totally repaint it. So it it it, it was a value add opportunity. So we can buy it and we can add value and make it worth more. As we talked about in one of the other videos, the houses across the street, if you look at those two houses, mm -hmm. those houses are worth significantly more. And so knowing that those people have redone their homes mean that people in this area are, are taking care of their properties. Yeah. And so if I can buy something that nobody's taking care of, turn it into something that we take care of and make it like those homes, then we bring value to the neighborhood and we bring value to this property specifically. We're gonna rip out all this shower. 
I told Roy to try to save this vanity and just get a new faucet. It does look like it's in pretty good Somebody condition. Somebody redid it, yeah. So you'll just put a tile like over this right here? Yeah, then we'll, we'll rip up everything that you see right here. We'll have to repair a lot of the, the wet rot. Yeah. And then that's really where a lot of the cost comes in because we got to pull all this off, see what's rotted out, replace the subfloor, and then come in with like a concrete board and put tile on top of it. But it'll look much nicer. We do a wood look tile a lot of times in all of our rents that you've seen. Yeah. And that you've coordinated. And then we do like a subway tile on the walls for the tub. And it looks totally different. A lot modern, more modern look, yeah. clean. And it looks nice. I think that's a big sell point to the wood kind of look. I, I agree. Yeah. This house is in decent shape. The windows need cleaned up. This, yeah. we were talking, Roy and I talked about scraping all that paint off of there okay. and that side. And well, you're going to do that. trim black, right? Yeah, trim, I mean, he said two shutters. colors on the outside, we'll do trim, shutters, black, and then the outside's all vinyl, so I don't know if he can paint it, all he's got to do is really power, power wash, wash it. it, right? It's not in bad shape. So what's Told under vinyl, wash. usually? Dude, check this out, this house is wild. Who knows what era, but probably roughly in the 1970s, 80s-ish, they went in and added foam board and an exterior metal vinyl, and then, or uh, overlay, and then they put a, uh, a vinyl siding over the outside. And so it was just to update the house and better insulate the house because back in the 1950s when this house was built, it was insulation was horrible and the exterior siding had to be repainted all the time because of the water. Siempre traes carro nuevo. Where were you sleeping? <laughs> yeah, shoot. Do you want to walk through it with him, Nina? Yeah, sure. Pero dijo hacen que vas a quitar todo para asegurar lo que está dañado por abajo que lo reemplazamos. What are the biggest assets? to the companies we've built are the team members, the people we have involved. They're phenomenal. Dina's inside, talking in Spanish. I wouldn't be able to keep up. <laughs> and this helps a ton, especially in construction. There's a lot of uh, language barriers when it comes to construction with Hispanics and people who speak English. And so having somebody that's bilingual helps translate those things into clarity so that we're not confused on what we're talking about. You're gonna coordinate with Dina and everything like you always do anyway, but she'll, yeah. she's gonna come back and check on the property and if you have any questions, send her pictures, etc. Okay. And I'll yeah. work with you to do it. She's gonna be the project manager. First time on this one only. Yes. We're good, everything's good. We'll be all right. You can start Thursday? Yeah. All right, sticky floor. Yeah. Make it cost effective. HVAC already works, it works good. The heater, the cooler works good. All right. All right, well, let's get out of here. Did you tell Roy we're starting an HD TV show? Huh? Dina. No, I didn't. Tell him so. <laughs> see what he says. Ah, uh, le dieron una una serie en una tele. Look at this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like this. Oh, Roy. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> when you get on it, though, when you start, let's stay on it and get done. Because I know, I know everybody's got a lot of work right now. I'm afraid, like even my new construction jobs, people will go here, go here, go here, go here, and it takes like so much longer. We can just stay on it, get it complete. It's so much easier. <laughs> you can <laughs> freaking finish, man. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just walked the house with Roy. He knows everything he needs to do, so we'll keep you guys updated. Awesome. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that like button on this video.